On February 11, 2020, the Holy See announced Pope Francis' apostolic exhortation, Querida Amazonia. It should be no surprise that the first Latin American pope would release a document concerning an area so close to his own region. But why is this letter about one region in the world addressed to the whole church? Two reasons. First, in the pope's own words, to help awaken their affection and concern for that land which is also ours. Remember, the Amazon region is not only international and of global concern in that its geography expands over several countries in Latin America, but many countries all over the world have stakes in the Amazon for its natural resources like timber, oil, and yes, even oxygen. Second, the concerns of the Amazon region, such as unsustainable deforestation and the involuntary uprooting of native tribes, are similar to concerns about other parts of the world, such as the Mesoamerican Biological Corridor and the tropical forests of the Asia-Pacific region. The principles delineated in Garida Amazonia can be applied to these regions too. Pope Francis structures his letter into four dreams he has for the Amazon region. The first dream calls for a prophetic plea and an arduous effort on behalf of the poor. While it is important to acknowledge the ecological and environmental crisis taking place in the Amazon, we cannot divorce these from the social crisis taking place in the Amazon. The accelerating deforestation occurring in the Amazon has uprooted native tribal peoples from their lands, which they have inhabited for several millennia, and are forced into cities where they face new challenges, graver poverty, vulnerability to the sex trade industry, and other problems associated with modern urban life. Simply put, these environmental debates must integrate questions of justice so as to hear both the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. The second dream is a cultural dream and expresses the Holy Father's desire that the people of God help the Amazon without committing a new version of colonialism, that is, eradicating the local indigenous cultures and replacing them with Western culture. The Holy Father teaches that through education and cooperation, our cultures can learn from each other and that we should help elevate the indigenous cultures to be more fully what they are. We Westerners need also to remember that our culture carries its own baggage that can manifest itself in the Holy Father's words as a consumerist vision of human beings, encouraged by the mechanisms of today's globalized economy. Third, environmental. I dream of an Amazon region that can jealously preserve its overwhelming natural beauty and the superabundant life teeming in its rivers and forests. In this section, the Pope quotes his predecessor, Benedict XVI, who implored that humanity must be increasingly conscious of the links between natural ecology, or respect for nature, and human ecology. That is, the good of humanity is profoundly intertwined with the good of nature. The Pope recalls the encyclical Laudato Si. Let us remember that if someone has not learned to stop and admire something beautiful, we should not be surprised if he or she treats everything as an object to be used and abused without scruple. The fourth and final dream expresses the Church's missionary vocation in the Amazon region. The Pope says, We cannot set aside the call to faith that we have received from the Gospel, and our desire to struggle side by side with everyone. We are not ashamed of Jesus Christ. Those who have encountered Him, those who live as His friends and identify with His message, must inevitably speak of Him and bring to others His offer of new life. Woe to me if I do not preach the Gospel. While respecting and honoring the Amazon region's traditions, our joy in Jesus Christ compels us to share and proclaim the risen Lord. The document exhorts the church in the Amazon to listen to the ancestral wisdom of the Amazonian people, such as openness to the action of God, a sense of gratitude for the fruits of the earth, the sacred character of human life and esteem for the family, a sense of solidarity and shared responsibility in common work, the importance of worship, belief in a life beyond this earth, and many other values. The document closes with the Pope entrusting the Amazon region to the prayers of Our Lady. This only scratches the surface of this document. This exhortation is very short, and you can probably read it in one sitting, and you most certainly should.